Hi, it's Rachel from rachelcooks.com and today we're making my whole wheat banana bread. It's the first thing I always go to when we have brown bananas on our counter, which isn't very often because my son is a monkey. So we're gonna start with these very ripe bananas, the riper the better, and we put them in the bowl. This part I really enjoy having my kids help with because they love to smash up the bananas. I just use a potato masher. All right, to the bananas, we're going to add our other wet ingredients. So we have some unsweetened applesauce. This cuts down the need for oil. We still use a little oil, but we don't need as much. And then we're gonna add pure vanilla extract, just a little bit of canola oil, and two eggs, which I've beaten in this bowl. And then we'll mix these wet ingredients together. To the wet ingredients, we're gonna start adding our dry ingredients. We start with whole wheat flour, and then we're gonna add sugar, baking soda, help it rise up, and baking powder, and then just a little bit of salt to balance all the flavors. And then what I do is I just kinda mix the dry ingredients up a little bit right on top before mixing them all in together. So we're just gonna keep mixing this till it's blended together and you can't see any of the dry ingredients showing. All right, once we have it all mixed together, we're gonna pour it into a baking pan. I have sprayed this one with nonstick cooking spray, so it comes out really easily. And then once it's all in there, just kind of spread it into an even layer so it bakes evenly, and then it's gonna go in the oven. So once this cools, we're gonna turn it out of the pan. This also freezes really great. I usually slice it before I freeze it so that when we're ready to eat it, we can just Pull a slice out of the freezer and warm it up. For the full recipe, head to rachelcooks.com.